Hello children. Sai Ram. In today's science session, we are going to do a revision of lesson number 8. That is parts of a plant. Okay. This is part 6. Today, we are going to do a revision of full lesson. Okay. Shall we start? Yes. So children, tell me a parts of a plant. Yes, there are two main parts of a plant. As you can see in diagram. So there are two main parts of a plant. The part of a plant which grows under the soil is called root. And the part of a plant which grows above the soil is called shoot. Shoot has bud, flower, leaf, fruit and stem. Right? Yes. Now we will see about the roots first. Okay? So, the part of the plant that grows under the soil is called root. And root fixes the plant to the soil. Okay. Now there are two types of roots. First one is tap roots. And second one is fibrous roots. Okay. These are the two types of roots. Which are generally found in plants. Yes. Now about tap roots. Some plants have a thick main root below the stem with several thinner roots growing from it. Okay. Some plants have a thick main root below the stem with several thinner roots growing from it. It goes deep into the soil. Balsam, hibiscus, bean and mustard plants have tap roots. Okay, these are the examples of tap roots. Balsam, hibiscus, bean and mustard plants. Okay. Now about fibrous roots. Plants like grasses, rice has no main root. Okay. Plants like grasses and rice has no main root. It has a number of tiny roots growing from the end of the stem. Okay, it has a number of tiny roots growing from the end of the stem. This looks like a bunch of roots. These are fibrous roots. Okay, coconut, wheat and onion also have a fibrous roots. Okay, yes, these are the examples okay, of taproot and fibrous roots. First, in the first example, radish is shown and in the second example, uh, spinach plant is shown. Okay. So, radish is having a taproot and spinach is having a fibrous roots. Okay. Now, functions of roots. Functions of roots. Roots fix a plant firmly to the soil. Plants need water and minerals from the soil. Roots take these and send them up to the shoot. Roots take water and minerals from the soil and send them up to the shoot. Then the roots of some plants such as the carrot, radish and beetroot root store food prepared by the plants. Yes, carrot, radish and beetroot store food prepared by the plants. Okay. Now about the stem. On the basis of size and kind of stem, plants are of different types. Okay. On the basis of size and kind of stem, plants are of different types. First one is, first type is trees, then shrubs, then herbs, 
climbers and creepers these are the five types of stem yes now we will see about functions of stem stem gives support to other stem gives support to other parts of a plant it makes the plant stand upright or help it to climb stand upright means stem help the plant to stand straight okay or help it to climb it carries water and minerals to the leaves it also carries food made by the leaves to all parts of the plant yes then in some plants such as the sugar cane and food in in some plants such as the sugar cane the food made by the plant is stored in the stem okay then ginger potato and turmeric are underground stems that store food okay ginger potato and turmeric are underground stems that store food yes now about the about the leaf yes this is the structure of a leaf okay side vein leaf blade and main vein is shown in the in this picture okay yes now we will see each part in detail leaves have a substance called chlorophyll it is green in color and gives leaves their green color okay the flat part of the leaf is called the leaf blade okay yes now about main vein in the middle of the leaf blade is a thin tube running from the stem to the tip of the leaf this is called main vein okay there are many smaller tubes running from the main vein and these are the side veins okay there are many smaller tubes running from the main vein these are called side veins side veins then water is carried to the leaf through this vein this is the function of side vein veins water is carried to the leaf through these veins okay yes if you take a leaf the upper side of the leaf is having slightly different color than lower side okay the upper side is smooth and darker and while lower side is rough and lighter in color okay yes now about the stomata the lower side of the leaf has many tiny openings called stomata air enters the leaf through the stomata plants take in carbon dioxide from air and give out oxygen and extra water from stomata yes this is a diagram of the leaf makes food for the plant okay this diagram is given in textbook also yes now we'll see how food makes food for the plant the main function of leaves is to make food for the plant the leaves use water a gas called carbon dioxide present in the air and sunlight to make food air enters leaves through the stomata the leaves take carbon dioxide from the air water travels up from the roots and reaches the leaves through the stem leaves absorb the sunlight needed to make food plants cannot make their food without chlorophyll while making food the leaves gives give out the gas oxygen and all living things breathe oxygen to stay alive right 
yes the food made by the leaves is sent to all parts of the plant through the stem some of the food is used up by the plant then the extra food is stored in the fruits in fruits roots and stems and seeds okay in some plants such as the onion and garlic the food is stored in leaves okay plants do not make food at night plants breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide during day and night yes now about flowers fruits and seeds yes first we will see about flowers flowers are the most beautiful part of the plants flowers grow on the stem flowers are of different colors shapes and sizes we eat some flowers like broccoli and cauliflower yes flowers appears as a bud the bud change into fully grown flower the brightly colored part of the flower is called petals yes now about the fruits fruits are formed from flowers most of the flowers change into fruits containing seeds inside them bud appear on the stem and turn into flower then the petals of the flower falls and then the lower part of the flower swells and turn into fruits okay this is how of uh, fruits are formed from flower yes this is the example of peach fruit okay this is the peach flower and it turns into a peach fruit with single seed yes this is the example of pomegranate this is a pomegranate flower and how and it turn into a pomegranate fruit with many seeds yes fruits may have a single or many seeds inside them some fruits have only one seed okay and while some fruits fruits have many seeds inside it for example mango lychee and peach have only one seed inside them and some fruits have many seeds like pomegranate papaya and watermelon as you can see in picture yes now about the seeds mostly seeds are found inside the fruits seeds grows grow into new plants okay a seed contain a baby plant inside it okay a seed contains a baby plant inside it this baby plant grows into a new and the healthy plant yes this is the diagram or a picture of a seed which contain a baby plant inside it yes the baby plant begins to grow when the seed falls on the ground and gets air water and warmth seeds like rice wheat and pulses are eaten as a food when a seed is sown in the soil and when it gets enough water air light and nutrients it grows into a new plant okay yes this is how the seeds grow into a new plants okay now there are two questions okay first one humans cannot live without plants right we cannot live without plants do you think plants can live without humans yes think about it children do you think plants can live without humans the answer is 
humans cannot live without plants but plants can live without humans as plants can make their own food in their leaves and do not have to depend on humans for it okay because plants make their own food in their leaves and we humans are depends on plant for our food right but plants can make their own food in their leaves and they do not have to depend on humans for it okay they do not have to depend on us for their food so yes you uh, plants can live without humans now the second question is plants breathe but do not make their food at night do you think it is a good idea to sleep under a tree at night or why not tell me children do you think it is a good idea to sleep under a tree at night yes or why not yes this is the answer plants take in carbon dioxide in a in the day and give out oxygen right yes plants take in carbon dioxide in a day and give out oxygen yes and we all living things need oxygen to stay alive right in the night they breathe in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide okay listen carefully in the night what plants do they breathe in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide so it and carbon dioxide is not good for humans right so it is not good to sleep under a tree as carbon dioxide is not good for people right i hope you understand till here so children this is all for today thank you